girl. You're late. It's almost done. I'm so sorry. I'm not okay. I'm so sorry. You said you were going to call back. And now you're asking to meet me here? What is going on, girl? Is this still our marriage issues? At this moment, it's not even about the marriage. I saw a ring right after the confrontation about the proposal. You saw what? Are you sure it's for him? Why would I lie about something like this? I know exactly what I saw. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought you said he's not ready for something like this. So go for the ring. That is why I'm here for this consultation. I really need your help. Girl, I don't even know why you're wasting your time with this jobless guy. Someone you literally take care of. Babe, see, he has a job now. What job? He, he's an overdrive. <laughs> guy cannot take care of you. Clearly he's not ready for marriage. Do you know the number and caliber of girls he picks in his car every day? Why are you wasting your time with him? I've been with him for almost five years. Are you expecting me to throw all of that out? Look, it's conspicuous that the ring isn't for you because if it was, he would have proposed. Don't you think he's seen another girl? You should confront him. Confront him. Alright. Anyways, thanks for the free consultation. I have to confront him and I have to get going. Free things are sometimes expensive. Yeah. Yo, bro, bro, thanks for responding to the call, man. Come on, come on. Your tone on the call wasn't exciting at all. What's up? Yo, what's going on? It's a profile, bro. She keeps disturbing me with this marriage, proposal, etc., etc. Isn't that a good thing? No. Tell me what I don't know. I call her cheating. What? Not even just cheating, but hook up. Hey, your woman, hook up. I'm telling you, bro. Bro, I was working, I was going about my normal job, and I had a request from a guy. Mm -hmm. This guy called and told me I was picking up his woman, only for the woman to come and was a briefy. Hey, a briefy. Your woman a briefy. Telling you, bro. I always wondered how this girl have been making money because you've never mentioned the job she does to me, bro. And it didn't even end there. She exploded on me when I asked her who that guy was. Telling me if I was providing for her, she wouldn't have been here. Abrafi said that to you. She said that and to And what me. did you do? What would I do? Only jump off and give her a silent treatment. Big man, you got the man now. So what's up? Right now, what are you doing? Bro, the reason for my coming, I mean, she called me today, asking me to propose to marry to her after all that. <laughs> Marriage proposal, yeah. Charlie. But any which way, you guys have been together for a very long time. So you need to sit now and talk it out. Communication is the key. Communicate it and trash our friends. No. No, man. Take heart. Be strong. Man up. You are the man, man. Thing. Thank you for your time. Shall I bless? Anytime, yeah, any day. I got you. Is it with the attitude? Why do you always have to be like this? Are you ready to tell me who that guy is? What guy? You know damn well who I'm talking about. Oh, yes. I'm ready to tell you who that guy is. When you tell me who this room belongs to. Why did you get that? Are you giving me a room to propose to you? 
Don't even start it. I saw this ring when you stood up, right after the conversation we were having. And this is obviously not the type of ring I want. I didn't know you had a type of ring. Can I have it back? I asked you a question, Mr. Uber Driver. And your question don't hold, Madam Hookup. Really? Yes. You know, this thing that we're having is not going anywhere. We should break up. Break up? We die here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Amen to what? To so live it together forever. I got a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. 